Almost everything we think we know about addiction is wrong. You get a rat and you put it in a cage and you give it two water bottles. One is just water and the other is water laced with either heroin or cocaine. The rat will almost always prefer the drugged water and almost always kill itself quite quickly. That's how we think it works. In the 70s, Professor Alexander comes along and he looks at this experiment and he noticed something. He said, ah, we're putting the rat in an empty cage. It's got nothing to do except use these things. Let's try something a bit different. So Professor Alexander built a cage that he called Rat Park. They've got loads of cheese, they've got loads of colored balls, they've got loads of tunnels, they've got loads of friends. But here's the fascinating thing. In Rat Park, they don't like the drug water. They almost never use it. You go from almost 100% overdose when they're isolated to 0% overdose when they have happy and connected lives. Maybe we shouldn't even call it addiction. Maybe we should call it bonding. Human beings have a natural and innate need to bond. And when we're happy and healthy, we'll bond and connect with each other. But if you can't do that, you will bond with something that will give you some sense of relief. What if addiction is about your cage? And the thing I realized that really blew my mind is, 